Hey, it's Rick Khan from rickkhan.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to sell online courses with Facebook ads. Now, just before I go into showing you the easy way to make these courses and how to sell them on Facebook, and that's without being a copywriter or an advanced marketer. If you're new to this channel, I strongly advise that you stay ahead of your advertising for your business by staying up to date with the latest changes and strategy. And you can do that by simply just considering subscribing below. But with that said, there are so many educators and people who have skills that have the ability to teach what they have from playing a guitar to learning how to fish all the way to teaching how to paint. And since they have all these incredible ways to teach others to get them where they want to be. And what's so incredible about this is that there's no inventory, there's no overheads, there's no staff to deal with, and there's just so much potential for scale. The benefits are pretty much endless. And here's the thing, when you have a successful campaign running on Facebook ads, you can literally go from a small budget into profit very quickly. And there are so many educators out there who already have these systems in place, selling courses on Facebook. And these people are able to pay mortgages, have big bank balances and live a lifestyle that they want. But saying that, this is what most people do when they first start out trying to sell courses online. They start by creating a course, they spend countless hours creating it, even spending months doing this. Then they pay for platforms to host their course or build their website. And then they finally set up their Facebook ad campaigns to then launch it to only get crickets. Nothing works the way they expected. Or let's say they even get a few sales. The cost of advertising is a lot more than what the course is worth, putting them into minus and making a loss. Whilst the truth is, if you're not very good at writing sales copy, then trying to get multiple sales is going to be tough. You see, your sales copy is the cornerstone to converting cold audiences fast, but also it requires a high amount of skills to write good copy. So with this strategy, I'm gonna reveal how to avoid being a copywriter and instead sell through a process of providing your expertise through demonstration and warming your audience. And perhaps best of all, you'll be able to do it in the shortest time without spending endless hours, months, or years trying to build out an audience organically. So starting with this strategy is that before ever creating your course, you want to start by creating a short template of where your ideal customer is at and where they want to be. This is similar to what Frank Kern teaches in the escape and arrival technique, where you want to go through each step of getting them where they want to be. Then I would create content of teaching people something fast that gets a result to prove you can help them. Essentially taking them down the process, getting a prospect to learn what they need to know. So if we take an example of someone learning to run Facebook ads on their website, what's the first thing they'll need? which is they'll need a website, they create a funnel, and then they run the ads. And then from there, we can then break all of this down into even more smaller pieces. And as you can see on the screen with this quick example, they'll need a domain, they'll need to do hosting, install WordPress, install themes, plugins, create a landing page, all the way to creating the Facebook campaign. Then you need to find where can you build out content to help them. Let's say, I would want to help with creating the landing page. I would first get them to build out content videos or even blogs showing step-by-step -step how to build and achieve their first goal. Then I would run these videos on Facebook for video views or engagement. This will help them build trust and authority showing their audience that they're the one that can help them to get where they want to be. Then at the next stages of getting them where they want to be, you can then create the course around this essentially getting them to the final point of teaching them how to get where they actually wanna be. Now, here's the thing. Since you're the one who took people through the process of proving how you can help them, you can then use a Facebook conversion campaigns to retarget all those engaged in your content videos because essentially this will be a warm audience that's already seen how you can help them. Now, before you do all of this, there is something very important when selling your courses on Facebook ads that you need to know. Because even though you take your prospects through a series of helpful videos, most courses can sell from $297 to $997 and up. And trying to sell high ticket items directly on Facebook is difficult. Instead, 
I would advise against selling straight to a big price offer such as $497 and instead take this offer and put this at the upsell or the back end. Find a part of this framework of escape and arrival and sell something that moves them a step closer to your content at a smaller price, such as seven, 27 or even $47. Because your goal when running your ads should never be about trying to make profit, but instead it's always to break even at the ad spend and then make your profit on the back end. And here's the thing, if you bring down the cost of your front end offer, it allows you room to figure out the best types of ads to run for testing. Where I have more on testing your Facebook ads, which I'll leave in the description below. And also I'll leave a link for creating Facebook ad structures that goes more into detail about this. Because $7 offers is a very small break even point that you can spend twice this amount until you get the sale without hurting your wallet. So saying this, let's say you get the sale at a low price point. What should you do now? Here, you just follow up. Create a series of emails, giving more help with content videos or blogs, or whichever way you're teaching, and use your back end to keep offering the course. This is the shortest path to getting to sell your courses. Now, here's two big bonus tips that I wanna give here, because the biggest mistake you'll ever make, and it's what most course creators do, is that creating the course before you make the sales page is a mistake. I would always highly recommend you first create your sales page before ever creating your course. And then when you have all your systems in place, I would then only create a part of the course, a small amount, and then drip the course and content and create it as you go if someone purchases. You do not want to waste time creating it if no one's going to buy. First, find out if people are willing to pull out a credit card for what you have to offer. And if you want help creating your copy or offer, I have a full research video where I'll link that below. And then finally, always research your competitors. Who's already selling what you have? This will help to understand what your perfect customer is buying and help you identify how you can add a twist and make yours different. Now, if you like this video, it will be much appreciated if you just hit the like button. And as always, if you need any help, just comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.